we did something we never thought we'd do. I know, and it came out better than I ever thought it would. Good morning, guys. Apparently, this girl is on fire. Guys, it looks like the sky is on fire. It looks like there's smoke in the air because it is poly very pollinifrous right now. Like this morning on my walk with Ollie, there were sheets of pollen coming through the air. Like I thought it was smoke at first, but it was pollen. Like, look at this. Um, okay, you probably can't tell at first glance on our table how much pollen there is, but let me like write the fry life on here. On the black, you could do it too. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, I don't even know how to spell. T-E. That's not how you spell the. <laughs> I get nervous on camera, okay? Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's like 80 degrees, and we're all... It's insane that it was 28 degrees, and then... Less than a week ago, yeah. That was what, like five days ago? I don't think it was even that. Crazy. When did you take the, the sheets off? Uh, was that Saturday? I don't know. But crazy. Look at this hydrangea. What do you call these? Geronimo. Geronimos. Geronimos. Oh, it's a, not a hydrangea, geranium. Uh, that was, speaking of hydrangea though. I think this was why I had that on my mind. They're on, they're in our side yard out front, and I think they got. We should have covered them when it froze last week, but we didn't think of it. Uh oh, Ollie's gonna get some hose time. Get the hose. Go get it. Where is it? Ollie, go find it. Well, I need to mow this grass. It's getting long. I need to mow the the poodle. Yeah. You mow the poodle, I'll mow the grass. Okay. Deal? Deal. Honey. Random fact about me that I inherited from my dad. Do you guys like the Easter candy peeps. I'm not a huge fan of them fresh, but if you leave them out for a couple of weeks to get stale, they're really good. Mary put them in my Easter basket and we opened them up about a week ago. And so they're they're just starting to get to the perfect spot. But the, the, the hard part is like waiting till they're really stale because that's when they're best. Right now they're like, Mediocre stale, still pretty good. I just pulled this gorgeous chicken out of the oven. It kind of looks burnt on camera, but it looks good in real life. Ooh, what'd you put on it? Uh, guess. The gospel. No. Oh, onion, garlic, parsley, parsley salt, pepper. pepper. Mary's favorites. Ooh, was that dinner? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go run orders to the post office, and I will be back for dinner. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, you are so cute. All right, headed in the post office. This is one of my favorite little mailers that we have. Plants, and thank you. Thank you guys for your orders from our online store. Couldn't do it without you. Time to pick some salad for dinner. You guys, the pollen is crazy. So I'll definitely be washing it real good. <laughs> This little bucket of lettuce has been so much fun for me. It cost $20, it was at Lowe's, and we bought, it was like the bucket and all the lettuce in it, and it has just continued to produce, and it has been a huge blessing to my little farmer heart. Farmer wannabe heart. You guys, if you listen close, you might hear the owl. Wait, listen close? I don't know if that's a real term. Yeah, there. that was the owl. 
I just remembered that both of my animals were in the house while Peter's at the post office and I didn't want either of them to eat the chicken. So I ran in there and Harry was up on the counter heading toward the chicken. But all is well, no chicken has been eaten except the chicken leg that I already ate. Oh man, that's a hand sanitizer that stinks. Oh well. Oh, that's the money shot with the pill bottles and the, the pill bottle in the background. That, that right there, true YouTube shot. <laughs> Not really, but I can only be me. And that means pill bottles in the background. Here is your daily azalea update. I feel like I should give little snapshots of these while they bloom. Pretty exciting. Peter's describing what our dinner looks like. And while you say that, watch your words because... <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like we went to an organic place? It looks like we went to like this organic like salads and kombucha and ju like juice, <laughs> ginger shots. And uh, you have like- It's like this, farm to table. Yes, farm to table. That's what I'm going for. Farm this to table with all natural. <laughs> chicken. Homegrown lettuce. Home lettuce. Backyard. Yep. Oh man. That's exciting. Cats allowed. I just remembered the most important part of the chicken. What? Butter. Ooh, butter. I melted a couple tablespoons of butter and basted it all over the top and then sprinkled all my seasonings on. And then the last like 20 minutes of cooking, I used a paintbrush, like the food paintbrush, and basted it a few times. Nice. Oh, it's so good. I pulled the extra meat off of the chicken and we'll probably have like chicken salad sandwiches tomorrow or something. But you better believe I'm reusing the carcass. I put it in the Instant Pot. And I'm gonna make some broth. I usually put it in the Instant Pot for... There we go. Oh no, there we go. The button wasn't working. Um, manual, pressure, high pressure, two hours. All right, well, a minute over two hours. And I like to use all of that broth. Here are the ones I currently have from a few different batches of, I think, turkey broth. And then I use them for soup. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, it's already, it already depressurized. So there's my broth. I will strain it and then leave it in the fridge overnight so I can scoop the fat off the top. The fat hardens overnight, and then you can scoop it off, and then you have broth. I usually put it in quart size bags and freeze it. Are you ready to go run? Ready? Oh my goodness. Go run! Go Bonesy! We did something we've always dreamed of doing. Now to you guys, you probably can't tell any difference, but we went closer than we've ever gone. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so, so cute. cute. Oh, oh, I was thinking we would take him up on the third floor. We have a big shower up there. Sometimes the three of us go up there and he can get in there with us and shower. But, um, that would feel like torture to him, and this is something he loves. He does not like getting groomed. He's fairly tolerant. I mean, we've only, us and Amanda has only ever done his grooming, so we just kind of know how to make it work. Uh, but he does not enjoy it. This is what he enjoys. Ali, oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, our thought is we've always wanted to go. I used the 10 blade. We used the 10 blade um, on the clippers. Right now I have Andy's clippers and we used the 10 blade and went. And he is 
Oh my goodness, the cutest thing. I saw a standard poodle that was shaved like this close years ago on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure I messaged the person and said, um, <laughs> and said, oh, how, uh, what blade did you guys use or whatever? Anyway, here we are. We did it and it's perfect timing because the weather is hot and he is so stinking cute. How are you so cute? I, we think he looks like a deer mixed with a greyhound mixed with a Weimariner. <laughs> so, so fun. And the, the one of the reasons we decided to do it, I would love to not get hosed. <laughs> um, one of the reasons was because he does not like getting groomed this will okay yeah. this will allow him to get groomed less which he approves of <laughs> so we're excited plus it's summer so we don't have to worry about the cold oh wow okay 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 do you want to do the far away thing so he has to go run well, i'm trying to get him all wet oh right okay wow Circus Poodle. <laughs> Do you need to run? Ready? Let's go run. <gasps> oh my goodness. Do we have a happy poodle? Very happy poodle. I'm going to go run with him. Minus the water, though. Ollie. Ollie, do you want to go run? Do you want to go run? Go run. Go run. Go run. Oh, I'm going to get it. This is a um, this is a chronic illness tip right here. <laughs> if you don't have a lot of energy, this is a way you can exercise your dog. Just point it over here when he runs there. Point it over here. I mean, we do try to let him we get it for a second. <laughs> He's had a little too much. <laughs> yeah, he like he'll drink the water and like. <sighs> well, when he drinks from the hose, he gets too much air in. Then it makes him drinking. make funny sounds. He's a happy, happy dog. Oh, we did something we never thought we'd do. I know, and it came out better than I ever thought it would. Yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Ollie, we love you. Come here, Bones and Bones. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you want to say goodnight to the people? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.